basic operation of the Sigma Check. When the Sigma Check is set up and configured and powered for the first time, you first see the splash screen, which also tells you the version of the software on the instrument. From that, we go straight into the measurement screen. We'll take one step back. The Sigma Check has two main screens. The measurement screen, which can be seen now, with us, as you can see, a visible warning to tell us to calibrate the instrument. And by pressing the back key, we have the home screen. Here, we have the serial number of the probe connected, the current frequency of operation, and when the instrument is due for its annual calibration. Moving to the bottom, you can see the temperature is displayed at 21.9 degrees Celsius. The micro SD card is present and OK, and the battery status is roughly 50%. To the bottom left of the screen, you can see the check mark and the right arrow. That's an indication of what buttons can be pressed from here. If I press the right arrow, it expands the Sigma Check menu. So now you can see we have calibration, frequency, probe, advanced, and configure. The plus signs after advanced and configure indicate that there are submenus beneath each of those. We'll come to those in more detail later on. So if I push the up key, as you can see, menu items are moved upwards and obviously down. If I go on to one that has submenus and push the right key, it'll expand that menu, identifying the submenus. The back key or the left key moves up the menu. To go back to the reading screen, simply push the uh, tick button with Sigma Check highlighted. This screen, the reading screen, is separated into two areas, as you can see the top and the bottom. Using the left and right arrows, we can scroll through the various screen modes. You see currently the top half of the screen is displaying conductivity. If I push right, we have lift off displayed on a simple bar graph. Right again, conductivity displayed on a simple bar graph. The time and the date, which has yet to be set. Metal sort, which we will also come to in more detail later. Minimum thickness, which we will come back to later. Lift off as a numerical value. And finally, back to conductivity where we started. The reason for having two halves of the screen, if I move down, we've now highlight the bottom half, is this also has the same options. And also on off. With the off, whatever was previously displayed on the top will now take up more screen space and obviously be more visible. In fact, if I go to connectivity and display a value, see the numbers are quite large. If I then turn the bottom screen on, the numbers are now slightly smaller. Now, if I purposely generate a lift off, as you can see, you can have the conductivity displayed in one half of the screen and the lift off or coating thickness on the bottom half.